guys, today I'm going to be filming a loom band video. So I've got all my loom bands ready and I'm going to be telling you what you're going to need. You're going to need um, a couple of yellow, I don't know the exact number, so I'm just going to say a couple of yellow loom bands, some orange loom bands, blue loom bands and pink loom bands. You're also going to need one S clip. And yeah, that's basically it. You can add charms to this if you want. And you will not be needing one of these. I can't do it on any, mine. I do have another one, but I can't be bothered. My pins have snapped. You can see. Snapped pin. Snapped pin. They snapped on the way when I bought this. I actually bought this from Manchester. And I'm using... Let me just hold all the loom bands. It's upside down, so there's no point. It's like a luxury kit set that was quite expensive. It was actually fifteen pounds. Hello, hello. See me. I could be a mother. No. Okay, so let's go. So you take your two fingers and you're gonna grab whichever colour you want. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna go with yellow. And all you need to do is you need to get your band and twist it so it's a figure of eight and put it. On your two fingers sorry guys you can hear the TV let me just mute that okay so then you're gonna take another one of your loom bands and put it over and by the way we're doing a double fishtail if you already know how to do this then don't carry it on then grab another one and put a second one over the top then what you're gonna do is you're going to grab a yellow and pull it over. Grab the yellow or whatever colour your bottom one is and pull it over. So it should look like this. Two bands with one band. Then you have to add another two bands. By the way, I don't know whether I've already told you this. My colours are yellow, orange, pink. You can kind of see my face. Hello, and um, blue, pink is here. But yeah, I'm not bothered with it. You can sort of see my face because it's pretty difficult for me to be like, eh. Um, so I'm not bothered that. I'm I'm just gonna lean here, but you guys can still see. It's pretty good lighting actually because I'm actually just using natural light. Um, and in some of my videos, I have to talk really loudly um, because sometimes you can't hear. And so then, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your two bottom ones, not just one, two, and pull it over. And pull it over. And it should look something like that. Two bands, like a little, um, like the um, straps of a rucksack, two rucksack straps, and one little green or whatever colour there is. That's actually yellow, not green. Then you just keep taking random coloured bands. If you're doing a rainbow, you can do whatever, but it has to be two at a time. It cannot just be one. It has to be two, or else this band will not work. Just keep to continue. I'm going to mix it up a bit because I feel like doing that today. Um, you see, my set came with charms, and I had to use these pliers. <laughs> And if you already know how to do this one, go away because I will make another video that you probably might not be able to do. Um, and it also came with these little hooks, you know, that attach them to the bracelet. Yeah, so that's why I have the pliers to fix them, to make them fit the bracelet. Um, but yeah, and then um, double fishtail is one of the quickest um, and easiest um, loom bands to make personally. If you know how to make a fishtail, then you know how to make a double fishtail. That's all I'm going to say. Because it's pretty easy to make. You just do the fishtail, but instead of one band, you use two. Um, and then once you've sort of got like that much, just pull. And it sort of extends it. And then you have like a fat fishtail. And these are great for making hard, thick bracelets that you don't want to snap. Because um, if you make like normal fish tail, they're able to snap because you can pull them and pull them and pull them and they just go ping. Whereas these have double the band strength, so they will not break. You like mum, by the way. I have a ladybird theme that has a bit of green to match the ladybird at home. I have the bumblebee sort of bracelet. 
with the orange. This is orange, not yellow. With the orange and yellow smiley, uh, orange and black smiley faces. Then you have these are white, blue, and sil um, silver, gold, white, blue, and gold. Well, it's yellow actually. And then I have like um, a tortoise one that's just random. It's just got random turtles because I love turtles. It's one of my favorite animals. And then I've got a candy cane one. Well, it's actually for my Robin Hood performance, which I can't show you my outfit because my mum put it in the car. But with that being said, let's carry on with our loon band. Sorry, I am so into talking today. I've had I've had no one to talk to all day because I've been too busy watching a film. And I'll be doing my... Hmm, oh, yes. I actually forgot about that. Today I will be filming some challenges and my June favourite. It's not the end of June yet. It is so close to the end of June though. So I was like, I might as well just get it out over and done with but i have to tell you about a film that i'm definitely going to include in my june favorites which is um what to expect when you're expecting pretty good but i will be right back once i get um longer because i have a feeling that you guys watching are getting pretty bored so once you've got long come back to the video I'll be right back So hello guys, I am back with um, my finished product. It's not fully finished yet, but it reach is my wrist and actually when you put these together they look pretty small but they are actually massive on you. They are really big. So what you're going to need is you need one spare band and an S clip. The only reason you can't see this is because my stupid quilt is in the way. <laughs> Sorry, let me just adjust my camera. So there you go, you can sort of see now. How brilliant. And um, so you're gonna take your last band and you're going to carefully remove these two bands off of your fingers. But you're not just gonna pull them straight off. Once you've got them like this, don't put twist them in a figure of eight. You're just gonna put them together. So they look a little bit like a cap band. Then you take your pink band and thread some of it through the end. Then you do with this is you thre thread one side through the other side and pull it's like a little knot then you're going to take your s clip hook this band onto whoops your s clip and then hook whatever are the last bands on this side Ooh, no don't break don't break on me onto the s clip the bands on this side there'll be two bands and they will both fit unless you have tiny s clips then you might need to do the same thing that you did with that side with that side sorry i'm pulling it over towards me i don't think it goes on oh Okay, so now that they're on, you see how big that looks? Look how big it, well look how small it looks. And there is your spring or summer look bracelet. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Straight after this, I'm going to be filming my spring, summer, June favourites, whatever you want to call it. But thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoy making loom bands. If you don't enjoy making loom bands, just don't watch these videos. And if you can't, just ask for tips in the comments below. Bye! See you guys. Bye bye.